Hello friends, we were talking about the pathophysiology of hypertension. So first of all, let's discuss basically some important types of hypertension which include uh, primary hypertension and secondary hypertension. Primary hypertension is a type of hypertension in which there is no specific reason. There is basically unknown cause for this hypertension. While uh, secondary hypertension will be having some specific reason, specific cause. For example, uh, you will be having some secondary disease, you will be having like uh, renal stenosis that will be ultimately leading towards the hypertension. While in primary uh, hypertension, there is no secondary reason that is causing the hypertension. So there is completely unknown reason for the hypertension in case of primary hypertension that is also called as essential hypertension. That is also called as essential uh, hypertension. Uh, primary hypertension account for approximately 85% uh, uh, of the total hypertension uh, while the secondary hypertension account for just 15%. Uh, as I have explained that primary hypertension does not have any specific reason. So it is basically a little bit difficult uh, for the physician to manage because you don't you do not know the exact reason and you cannot cure it you have to manage the primary hypertension throughout the life uh, by giving uh, some kind of medication uh, while in secondary hypertension a bit basically there was a secondary disease that was causing the hypertension so obviously if we cure the that particular disease uh, hypertension will be cured automatically okay uh, Obviously, there is no specific uh, uh, cause, but there are some factors that are affecting the hypertension and uh, some of them which include genetic factors. Obviously, there are certain genes that play important role in the uh, hypertension and the cardiovascular disease, but it is also likely that uh, people having family history of uh, uh, hypertension, they are basically also sharing the same environment and same environmental factors. So this could also be the reason uh, of uh, family uh, history. Uh, second is environmental factors, uh, which include cigarette smoking, which include high salt intake, which include high alcohol intake, which include uh, lack of exercise. These are some environmental factors that may also lead towards the uh, hypertension. And uh, third one is uh, humoral uh, factors. Humoral factors basically the factors that are uh, circulated from the uh, circulatory system and they move toward uh, other organ or tissue and cause damage there. They are basically called as humoral uh, factors. For example, angiotensin 2 uh, may cause uh, ventricular hypertrophy. It may also cause uh, stiffness of uh, blood vessels. So uh, similarly, overactivation of sympathetic nervous system or uh, high uh, excretion of uh, catecholamines uh, may also cause the hypertension. So these are basically humoral factors. Uh, high, uh, if there is uh, increased activity of renin and your tensile aldosterone system or there is overactivation of sympathetic nervous system, they may lead toward the uh, hypertension. And uh, last one is reactive oxygen species. Uh, reactive oxygen species obviously basically they are uh, free radicals that are having one unpaired electron and obviously that uh, uh, unpaired electron that unpaired electron will be very reactive and it will be looking for some other uh, agent to react so that it may get stable and because of its high reactive nature it may cause lots of damage and nowadays if you look at the pathophysiology of other diseases like if you look at the pathophysiology of myocardial infarction if you look at the pathophysiology of cancer you will get to know that uh, these reactive oxygen species are playing their important role uh, in the pathophysiology of most of the disease today we are facing uh, and uh, uh, from the reactive oxygen species here you can see this uh, uh, oxygen uh, radical is basically uh, more important that is causing the vascular damage so uh, it was uh, a brief introduction about the type of hypertension uh, and uh, now let's talk about the pathophysiology. First of all, we will talk about the pathophysiology of primary hypertension uh, in which we will uh, we will be dis uh, discuss about the uh, overactivation of renal angiotensin system and overactivation of sympathetic nervous system and in the second part, of, uh, second part we will talk about the uh, pathophysiology of uh, secondary hypertension in that video we will see that how lots of other disease 
किडनी डिजीज न्यूरल डिजीज पलमोनरी डिजीज थायराइड डिसऑर्डर कैन अल्टीमेटली डी टूवर्ड द हाइपर टेंशन एंड वट आर द रीजन बिहाइंड दैट प्लीज स्टे विद मी थैंक यू सो मच